What's up everybody, it's Tanner with Charles Fly Fishing. We're back for Five Flies to get you through the month of January, first edition of 2021. We're excited to be joined by our good friend uh, Russ Miller from Umqua himself. He's kind of our January stand-in because when things get tough, we can always count on Russ Miller to provide some laughs and a fish or two, right? That's what we do. So, it's January. <laughs> So we just wrapped up down in Deckers. Uh, pretty classic January day down here. Definitely, you know, quite a bit of ice flow early in the morning. The lower river's pretty frozen, so you're gonna be kind of locked in that top three, five miles or getting up into the canyon if you're heading this way. Uh, yeah, certainly wasn't anything special today, but certainly if you put your time in down here this time of the year, you know, like you were saying earlier, focusing on your bugs and all that good stuff, you, uh, you can make some stuff happen for sure. So it was everything you could expect better than being at home on a January afternoon, right? I loved it. Yeah. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah. Fly number one to get you through the month of January 2021 is going to be a red pyramid. We are fishing that today. Size 20, 22s. Have those on the smaller sizes. Just with the midges, have a good variety of those bland basic stuff. Not a ton going on with the pyramid. Keep it that way, John Bars. Flies are proven over and over. Um, reds and blacks even have some, you know, mercury midge type stuff mixed in there as well. But red pyramid, fly number one for January. Uh, fly number two to get you through the month of January uh, on your Euro rig is going to be Landon Mayer's Mini Leech Jig. Um, we were fishing today the, uh, the black uh, with the orange bead here in the Radiant series. Um, it's a great fly. It does two things really well. It catches fish, number one, and number two, provides the weight you need to get your, your flies down into the zone for the fish. With the Euro rig, we were targeting kind of that deeper, slower water, um, some of that smaller pockets that maybe didn't get as much pressure from, you know, a lot of the other anglers that were able to wander into those spots. Uh, so that, that rig kind of gives you a little versatility as, as far as where you can probe a few flies uh, and get some drifts that maybe haven't been drifted to that day. Um, and this fly is really great uh, because it rides hook point up so you can fish it really tight to structure and not find the bottom nearly as much. Um, so fly number two to get you through the month of January, Landon's Mini Leech Jig Radium. Fly number three to get you through the month of January is going to be Charlie Craven's 2-bit Mitch, new pattern that Craven came up with that kind of in that 2-bit series. Just like you were saying, you know, it does two things really well. Gets your flies down for those small midges. You know, it's really actually covers those beads pretty well as well. So they're not, you know, they don't stick out as much as let's say a zebra midge. Um, so it gives you that weight, plus it hides that in these more technical fisheries. So allows you more chances of success without having to, you know, plunk split shot and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna fly number three today. Craven's 2-bit midge, all of 20. Size 20 is what we're fishing most of the day, so. Confidence. Confidence. So fly number four um, in January here is uh, another Euro fly. It's the Spanish Pertagon uh, by Antonio Rodriguez. Antonio was uh, on the Portuguese team, uh, one of the guys that kind of brought Pertagons here into the U.S. market and into the States. Uh, Pertagons have kind of taken on a life of their own a little bit. People are super into them. Um, and for good reason. They're heavy. Uh, they have a really slim profile, so they cut down through the water very well. Uh, and they just have that buggy profile. Uh, they're offered in a, in a variety of different color and bead combinations, but uh, today we were fishing the orange collar, silver bead, and natural quill body. So fly number four, Spanish Pertagon, Antonio Rodriguez. Boom! Fly number five to get you through the month of January is going to be uh, Filawani's No Mercy Midge. It's a pretty sweet little pattern, super simple. That guy's stuff flat out catches fish down here on the South Pot. He spends a lot of time here. I've been told he has fished this fly for 11 years. 11 years. 11 years before it got picked up by Umqua. So, yeah, pretty productive. Has a nice little CDC tuft. Was really money today on, like, kind of swinging out some of those drifts for some of those fish in those slick tailouts that weren't up and down in the column too much, uh, but they were moving to this thing kind of on the swing, so yeah, it was really productive in that way. Yeah. It's a great fly to mix into the rig with some right. of the other larva and, and exactly. stuff like that. You kind of get that emergent stage of the, the right. midge life cycle too. Exactly, exactly. That is fly number five. Two. 
January. We've done a bonus fly. Yeah. Bonus number six. <laughs> Uh, fly number six for January is the ICU Midge from Norm Mactima. Uh, Norm's a, uh, a New Mexico resident, uh, spends a lot of time down on some of those techie tailwaters like the San Juan. Uh, also, Team USA guy. Um, so, it kind of carries over some of those same properties from the Pertagons. Uh, really slim profile body, uh, a bulbous thorax kind of imitating that emergent state with a nice big tungsten bead so it gets down. On the 2499 SPBL Tiemco hook. Um, wide hook gap, you get good hook to land ratio with a hook like that. Uh, so we were doing that in red today, um, been running that one a lot through December too, so uh, it was fun to put it in, in the water here in January. Uh, so fly number six, the bonus fly, ICU Midge, red, from Norman MacTime. On the wrap up side, you know, you were fishing in the bobber rig all day. I was running the Euro rig all day. Um, you're seeing more and more guys running the Euro rig. Uh, what I think is really cool about fishing those two methods side by side, like we did on the river, is you see the strengths and weaknesses of each of those uh, systems, right? Like there was a lot of the water that was uh, kind of that flat, awesome, even run that's good winter water, um, where you want to be able to hold your flies off the bottom. The the indicator rig excels in that in that kind of stuff. Uh, for being able to take your flies and kind of probe them into some pockets and, and work some of that deeper tanky water. Um, the Euro rig has its real opportunity. So, you know, anglers heading out to the South Platte, Deckers, you know, any of the big tailwaters, you're going to be able to find a good mixture and fish in all, even, even if it's crowded, right? Because we're all wanting to get out and do some fishing here in January. Um, with both of these side by side, it gives you a lot of opportunity to like mix and match and, and really kind of fix anything that's in front of you. But yeah, I mean, showed versatility, it's like don't get too down. If someone's in a hole you want to fish, like try something you haven't done before, you know, stuff like that. It's like it can be productive. We showed you can catch fish pretty much in the deep slots, pocket water, just about anywhere. So yeah, it was fun today. To, we didn't get them under the ice, to be clear. We did, there was a ton of fish under ice today, but they were a little harder to get because we didn't have the old auger. But, yeah. No question. No question. <laughs> Next time. We'll figure that one out. It'll be like a, a hybrid nymph of some sort. I tried taking that little jig yeah. nymph and yeah. uh, just like ice jigging it. No, they, no were, they were kind of wise to us. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh, so anyway, next time you're out on the water, uh, don't be afraid to bring a couple rods, be that guy uh, or gal on the water. Um, I think you'll find a little bit more success as you start kind of popping into some of these different water types with the different flies. Um, I mentioned earlier kind of setting up boxes for success so like uh, a good tail water box in my opinion has some really some of those big heavy anchor flies that, that might be leachy eggy wormy that kind of high protein snacks uh, mixed in with a lot of those super imitative uh, patterns that, that just get her done I agree. I agree does that wrap up five flies for your January? I feel like I'm pretty wrapped I man I came full circle here too. Yeah, yeah, that wraps up five flies to get us through the month of January. As usual, thing, thank you all for tuning in. Here. You know where to find us. Check out Trout's all the Uncle Fly Flies yeah. at Trout's Fly Fishing. They have an incredible selection uh, to get you through every month of the year. Thanks. Yeah, and that's growing as well. We're, we're starting to get as much flies on our online stock as we possibly can as well. So with everything going on, I know it's not the safest or maybe your most preferred method to get down to check out the fly selection in all the bins. But uh, yeah, a lot of those will be online as well. So take a look there. As usual, if you have any questions, anything involving trout, so shoot Yvonne an email, Yvonne at troutsflyfishing.com. Let's load this cab with some inquiries. Keep them busy because it's not doing a whole lot. Um, that's about all I got. That's Hopefully a wrap. Man, That's a wrap. Have a good January. January. Take it easy.